lot of sunshine. It's going to be a gorgeous sunrise both sides of the state line to begin your Thursday. We'll see mostly sunny skies all the way through this afternoon and up to 52 degrees for today. If you are keeping track, normally we'd have high temperatures in the upper 30s here in Kansas City for this time of year, but that is certainly not what we're expecting for today. All the way to the Missouri Iowa border, Trenton with 48 today, Maryville with 49, St. Joe with 51 degrees, right along that I-70 corridor, 52 for Lawrence, 52 for Kansas City, the same for Concordia, Warrensburg through Sedalia, feeling great this afternoon with those lower 50s, and the farther south that you live, the better opportunity you may push into the middle 50s by later today for Butler, Mound City, near Paola and Garnett there, just south of I-35 on the Kansas side of the state line. What a way to wrap up a Thursday. It'll get even warmer though for tomorrow. A little bit of advanced planning for you. We are keeping an eye on those temperatures. We have a good solid four to five days to enjoy this little. I'm calling it kind of a little fling with spring here for Kansas City as we'll see temperatures push to 63 tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the warmest day by far of the next seven. Saturday though is going to be pretty close with 60 degrees as we're moving into your weekend. So in case you don't get a chance to enjoy it, Saturday's still looking good. Sunday not quite as warm, but still nice here in Kansas City. Now, not so nice next week. We've got a pretty significant storm system that's going to impact a good portion of the country. Areas could see showers, even thunderstorms over southern portions of Missouri. Heavy amounts of snowfall expected as well. And wouldn't you know it, Kansas City is right in the middle. It's far too early to go in terms of any kinds of snow totals or exact timing, but we're pinpointing mostly on Tuesday in terms of impacts. And with that potential of rain mixing with snow here in Kansas City six days out. We just want to let you know, stay connected with us. We're going to see this storm system evolve here today, tomorrow through the weekend, and certainly by Monday of next week. And we'll be keeping a close eye on this storm system as well.